Uh, seven days I've been here, I didn't have to recharge this at all. I wouldn't need it to bring any solar panels or anything to recharge this because it had enough capacity for my needs. That's not your needs, my needs uh, for seven days. And it's only drained about 50%. Um, the 1500, I'm just living off it here for uh, a week and then I'm going to follow on with the second week using it. And well, recharging is really critical on these jackeries, right? You know, you got a big unit, you got to recharge it. And uh, this one, uh, I, it's a 1500. I've been using it for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, six days. And I drained it about halfway. Now, that's recharging all my personal gear, uh, everything, the phone, the laptop, uh, uh, speakers, flashlight, you know, all the stuff I've got. Uh, everything that isn't built into the trailer, meaning the trailer lighting and the refrigerator uh, and the heater in the trailer, everything else I've been running off the Jackery and it's just been doing great. Um, it just... <laughs> Uh, this is the first uh, Jackery uh, I've, I've attempted to use this way. You know, there's two ways to use these. Uh, one is uh, you've got a need and you are on a job site and you want to work a power tool or you, uh, you have a couple of waffle irons you want to run and you have a big draw, right? A big 1500 watt draw. It'll drain this in an hour. But that's not what I'm doing. I'm trickling the power out of this thing to, uh, to see how long it lasts under my camping conditions. Now, Jackery sent four solar panels, and uh, I'm using all four. And one thing that's different is um, the connector into the Jackery is a different size. They had to make it a larger size to handle the amperage that's coming in from, uh, from larger panels. You know, Jackery has some 200 panels. I think you can pump up to 600 watts into this. And uh, what they give you, let me just disconnect all this, is they give you these new, uh, these new Y connectors. And the Y connectors uh, accept the old panel size. So you, you plug those in here, and then you plug this new connector into the Jackery. Now that works out quite well. Um, one odd thing is you have to use two panels. You can't just plug one panel in here, it has to be two. Now for one panel, they give you an adapter that goes on the end of, uh, of the Jackery. Here, let me see if I can get it. Here's the adapter that allows you to use one Jackery solar panel on the uh, 1500 and I guess the 2000. I love the new display, you know, knowing how long, uh, 2.9 hours to charge uh, this thing is taking uh, at this point. You know, it's changing all the time. Uh, but on the output side, it's really good. When you plug something in there, it tells you how long uh, the Jackery will run with that current draw, which is really great. While this is charging, I can, uh, I can plug other things in here uh, to, uh, to have them run or be charged also while this is charging. That's often how I use it. Uh, Jackery supplies you with a cable with a cig car cigarette lighter adapter. Uh, for charging this thing. And the good news is there's two inputs for 12 volt, so you can put two inputs from your car and charge it twice as quick. So currently I'm set up. I've got two Jackery solar panels going into this Y connector, and that's connecting into the new connection on the Jackery 1500, which is a different size. You cannot plug one of these directly into the Jackery 1500 unless you have this. This comes with it, a, uh, a connector that allows you to use the old solar panel connection. That goes in one end, and the other end is a slightly different uh, connector here. You can see the pin there is a lot larger to handle bigger current, and you can plug that directly into the Jackery. And uh, that's how you use uh, one panel. The uh, Jackery Y connector requires two solar panels to operate. If you plug just one solar panel in here and plug this into the uh, into the Jackery, it will not charge. So they've covered all bases, and uh, and you can use your old solar panels or new solar panels. I like compatibility, and it's all working just great. I'll tell you what, the 1500 uh, kind of opened my mind a little here. It's uh, a real pleaser. I. Uh, was dubious at first. I thought, you know, the recharging was going to be a big issue. 
uh, because it's such a big uh, unit. You know, this charge is as fast or faster than some of the smaller units, and it accepts more solar panels. So, uh, pretty happy. The MPPT controller is working just great on the 300 and the, uh, the 1500. I have an old 500 with a uh, PWM controller. I'd like to get a, uh, a new one with uh, the MPPT controller. So I'll have to uh, see if Jackery uh, is willing to help me out here. But uh, hey, good unit. I'm, I'm new to this. I'm new to having a big, huge uh, power supply that you just don't have to recharge very often. It uh, frees up a lot of time for you. <laughs> you don't have a sunny day. You don't have a couple of sunny days. In my use case, I could just wait it out. Uh, I'll just uh, charge it up in a few hours on a sunny day. Uh, it's pretty good. Nice, uh, nice innovation from Jackery. It's Jackery now. It says it'll take two and a half, 2.2 hours, and it's accepting 321 watts. That's up from before. I guess the sun is rising higher in the sky. It's uh, nine, almost 9:30. 10 a.m. is peak charge time. 10 a.m. till 2 p.m. is the peak charging hours. Now I'm going to plug in. I'm going to plug this in. I'm going to charge the Jackery 300 off of the 1500 using the 12 volt output. And uh, let's see how that affects things. It's, uh, this is accepting 78 watts right now. And it's uh, got about 25, 26% to charge. So let's see how that affects the charge time here. And it's a little hard to see. Two and a half hours. Uh, and didn't affect it much. Three hours. It adds on like an extra half hour. Uh, and I can use them both. Uh, it's 9, 9.30 now. That's like 12.30. Everything will be charged up. You know, it's pretty good, including the 300. So uh, I'm pretty pleased. Yeah, talking about no-name brand uh, solar banks, you know, uh, uh, battery pack things here. Um, you know, this one uses uh, battery balancing, which is something I'm very interested in. Battery balancing makes sure that all the batteries uh, are adjusted. There's software in here to adjust and compensate for any differences in batteries. Um, the Apple uh, Jackery was formed by an Apple engineer, and, uh, yeah, you know, when I saw that, and uh, they acknowledged that they do it, in the charge cycle, they check if the batteries need to be rebalanced. It's my guess that they do that at the end of the charge because it, it stays at 99% for a little while. And uh, my guess is they're checking uh, for battery balancing. And they do it in an ongoing basis. Uh, some companies will balance batteries when they build the packs and send them out the door. And after that, there's drift on the battery cells because there's a lot of battery cells in here. And uh, that can reduce your battery life. Uh, you won't be getting full capacity your your power station like this unless you have battery balancing and you can uh, try and find out if you're considering some other brand good luck finding out if they balance the batteries because I've tried I've gotten you know unanswered emails and uh, you know usually it's unanswered emails <clears throat> the companies never want to highlight their weaknesses but Jackery does do battery balancing, and they do a lot of other things, too, in here to make it uh, run right. They're actual electrical engineers instead of some guy with a soldering iron and uh, a bunch of batteries making packs. Anybody can slap together a unit, but uh, to do it correctly for longevity takes a certain amount of knowledge. Certainly is fun to have all the electricity you possibly want. I mean, I get on my laptop for hours at night. It was raining last night, and I was on there for hours using this thing. So here's a charging update. It's, uh, it's 1045 and uh, charging is going better than expected. Uh, I plugged this, uh, this Jackery 300 into the 1500, which is charging with the solar panels. And uh, this puppy is, uh, is up to 98% charged. And uh, you notice this? Uh, it's only accepting 25 watts now. I get a lot of questions about this. People take their uh, Jackery at 98% and they plug it into a solar panel. And they say, hey, I've got a 100 watt solar panel. It's only taking 25 watts. They, you know, these panels don't produce. Nonsense. The panels produce. The Jackery's only needs 25 watts. It's uh, the controller is controlling how much wattage goes into the batteries and it tapers as they get more charge. When we get up to like 99% or 100%, this may only take like six watts or a couple of watts. This thing is 1500. It's a scorcher. 
it's taking uh, 196 watts right now and uh, 195 watts it's at 88 percent now and it's doing really well it's outputting 26 watts to the uh to the uh, other jackery so things are going so well what i did <clears throat> It says it'll be charged in 1.4 hours, so that's great news. It's going so well that I hooked my laptop up, and uh, that's over here. It's behind the solar panel so it doesn't get too hot, and uh, it's in a bag. Uh, that's charging, and uh, and I'm charging the, uh, the Jackery 300 while I charge this thing. Now, don't forget, I've got 400 watts of power here. Now, let's review. The Jackery is not showing 400 watts of power. The controller is saying it needs like uh, 300 watts of power right now. And that's throttling it back a little bit, the MPPT controller. So uh, everything is working as planned and it's working better than as planned. So uh, it's a real viable solution to 1500. Uh, you know, on a cloudy day, you're not gonna get a whole lot of wattage. So, uh, you know, I'm sure I'll get uh, a chance to try that out soon. I didn't want to do it this week because um, I wanted to just use the Jackery nonstop with no recharging. That's what this test is all about. And since I'm coming to the end of the trip, I have a sunny day, I'm gonna use this as an opportunity. But uh, going forward, I'm gonna use this a lot more. I expect when I'm up in Vermont in the forest, uh, I'm gonna not have as much sun and I'll have more reports in a couple of weeks uh, on these uh, Jackeries and how they're doing. So uh, I'm gonna bring the 1500 and the 300 on that trip. That's what my plan is right now. And uh, I uh, will probably drain the 1500 to zero, you know, to like 20% and then uh, recharge it and see how it does in cloudy and overcast conditions and all. You know, we know what the answer is. If it charges in three or four hours in the sunshine, it's gonna take a lot longer in the, uh, in the uh, shade of trees and clouds. So, uh, and also the other test that I need to do, this all takes a lot of time, is to put this in the car and to use two 12 volt chargers, you know, in the car on this guy and see how long it takes to recharge that. That's a real handy one. That's a real important one because you want to see, you know, if your mode of camping is you camp, drive, camp, and we want to see how much energy you can get in it while you're driving. You know, obviously, the longer you drive, the more charge it's going to be. So uh, what a solution these things are. What a great innovation for camping these things are. I mean, obviously, if you're on a job site and you need to run a compressor or you are uh, have a power outage and you need to run something, uh, th these are just, you know. And I have lent my 1000 to a friend in a power outage. They used it uh, for two or three days. They were real happy to have it. So, uh, just great technology, making life better. So, you know, you pay a little more for Jackery, and uh, you get their reputation, but you also get engineering. 